全システム準備完了。All systems are ready. メインエンジンクリスチャン。Japan has just done something amazing. It's flown a spaceship to a one-kilometer-wide near-Earth asteroid called Ryugu to do some incredible science. This is Hayabusa 2, and it's just deployed three rovers onto Ryugu's surface. The German and French mascot probe on October the third, and before that, the Japanese Minerva II robots. Their mission: to measure temperature and magnetic properties, and take photos of the surface. And amazingly, this is how they get about. Yep, they bounce. I've come to the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency (JAXA) to meet the team who designed the mission and try and get my head around this bonkers mode of transport. In summary, this hops off the surface of an asteroid. It jumps about 10 or 15 meters into space. It stays off the surface for about 15 minutes and then comes back down. And bound and bound and bound, bounce and, and bounce and bounce. Through. The images already returned by the Minerva 2 bots are wowing the world, but the risks they face are high. What are the biggest risks with these rovers? Ah,、uh, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, so we did not have much budget, so the、uh, we did not use a very expensive、uh, devices. You know that the、uh, rover hops and then. Bound and bound, so they are that, in that moment、uh, the mechanical、uh, failure will happen. So some, something was broken, and the, so the another issue is the temperature. So the asteroid is rotating, so the the temperature gets down to below minus 100 degrees. So I I don't know exactly, but the,、uh, that is also a big problem for the uh, uh, commercial de、uh, devices. So this is a replica. Of Hayabusa 2, and believe it or not, deploying the landers isn't even the coolest thing that this is going to do, in my opinion, because this is going to land on the asteroid, take a soil sample, and then take off again, which I think is absolutely incredible. The first attempted landing is hopefully going to happen very soon, by the end of October, and then a little later, a second landing will collect more soil. We think that there are organic matters on the surface of、uh, asteroid. So if we can get the organic matter, we can study what kind of organic matter、uh, was were exist when the Earth、uh, was born. Now. That's that's a model of Hayabusa 2、mm, there.、Right. It looks very delicate to me,、mm -hmm. and you're going to try and land that、mm -hmm. on an asteroid. What what are the risks, and what's the most risky part、uh, of this? So,、uh, the most risky part is、uh, that the surface of Ryugu is not smooth. We imagine that we can see the surface of the asteroid, and it, maybe it is covered by sands, but、uh, in fact, the photo. That Minerva 2 sent us. There are lots of boulders, big one or small one. We cannot find a wide area where no boulders. So that is our uh, main issue. Assuming all does go well, next year Hayabusa 2 is going to go one better and try to collect soil from under the surface, and it's going to do that. By using an explosive to blow a hole in the asteroid, and then, in one final heroic act of science, it's going to fly back to Earth and return the soil samples to JAXA scientists, possibly to help them unlock the secrets of life itself. We don't know where the life was born. We, it may be on the Earth. Or it may be in the universe. We don't know that. So we want to study the、uh, original organic matter 
that exist when solar system born. Thank you very much for your time. Very best of luck. Yes, thank you very much. It's like going to land a spaceship on an asteroid and take off and then fly back to Earth.